Hi, so I'm a big fan of Queen, but I also happen to be a huge nerd. I've also played around with some AI machine learning -y stuff, you know, like text generation, image generation, that sort of stuff. But there's one type of AI that I've only figured out how to do recently, and that's speech synthesis. More specifically, voice cloning. You see, Freddie Mercury just has this voice that no one's been able to replicate. Until now, because that's, that's what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be replicating Freddie Mercury's voice. Somebody wants for you or this gonna roll me! Okay, so first of all, what would be the best resource to get all the stuff we need to make the AI Freddie Mercury thing? Well, if you guessed the My Little Pony community on 4chan, you'll be absolutely right! Right now, they're doing something called the Pony Preservation Project. Ever since the show ended last year, they've been trying to use AI to create new episodes of it. Right now, they're working on replicating the voices of My Little Pony characters. And luckily for us, they've let everybody use the method that they used. The method they're using is called Tacotron, which unfortunately, despite his name, actually has nothing to do with tacos. So that's what we're going to be using to generate Freddie Mercury's voice. I, uh, saw Pistol Me said she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb. So the first step creating the model is to collect the data, which is... Uh, not the most funnest thing in the world. <laughs> so basically, what you have to do is just save the audio to a file and then transcribe it, which doesn't sound that bad, except most decent -ish models have, like, at least a thousand samples, so you're probably gonna be doing that a thousand times you want actually decent results. However, I was lazy, so I only did, like, 50 samples for my first test, which, I mean, uh, it's not really good, but... Yeah, no, it's not really good. Oh well. In the shape of a little forehead, with the years start coming in, they just stop for me. So finally, after transcribing the data and all the other stuff, I finally got to train the model. And uh, let's just say a lot of the earlier samples sounded a well, little something like this. <clears throat> ah! A few times it almost attempted to be English, kind of. But most of the time it was just <laughs> Sometimes it even attempted to cry for help. <laughs> Isn't that cute? To the rule, I the ground running, I so for the second test, I try to use a different data set. This data set's a lot bigger, so you'd think would be actually is, but nope, it's just ah! <laughs> Okay, I will admit, this time it turned out a little better than last time, but it's still not great. <laughs> it even attempted to do its own little Spongebob impression, I think. <laughs> As I gave it more and more data, it obviously got a little better, but... Uh, it's still not entirely English. By this point, I can pronounce one or two syllable words with relative ease, I think. So at this point, I just decided to give up. And try a different method. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain is smart, but you hit your stomach. With this method, the model would be better, but the only thing was that the audio quality would be slightly worse. So I used that. I had to redo all of the samples so that way it worked with this method. But was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. Ladies and gentlemen, it's actually English! What? Adam is cool. It's actually English. Okay, well, it's mostly English. Sometimes it skips a word here or there. I like this. But for the most part, it is English. Adam is really cool. And you should totally subscribe to his YouTube channel. Wow, he's right. What I find most impressive is that this model was created using less than 50 samples. That's very rare. That almost never happens. So how did that happen? Was it something with the training data? Maybe it was how long it trained? Nope, it turns out the answer is just dumb luck. I have tried everything. Nothing has worked. I've added more data, trained it longer, nothing has worked. Now we're on the other end of the spectrum, where instead of sounding like, ah, it sounds more like, uh. <laughs> Sometimes it just Barely manages to sound like Freddy speaking. But most of the time, nope. So that's where I'm gonna leave off for this video. 
the next part, I'm gonna attempt to prove the model a little bit more, and I'm also going to be talking about other stuff, like how you can use the model, and how you can make your own. I'm planning on releasing the next part either next week or the week after. Will the model get better, or will it get worse? I don't know! No, really, I, 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 leg I legitimately don't know, like, I haven't started retraining it yet. I don't, I don't know, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out either. I'm gonna, we're gonna find out! Next part. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with Demon Freddy singing All Star. Thank you for watching End Screen. Somebody wants for you well, is not a roaming. I had a sharp wrist in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb. In the shape of a little forehead. When the years start coming in, they just stop for me. Then to the rule, I hit the ground running. I didn't make sense not to live for fun Your brain is smart, but you hit your stomach So much to do, much to see and leave So what's wrong with taking the back streets? you never know what you don't you never shine, you don't glow And now I know I'll start a jig one, don't play And now I'll ride a star, get this show on, get paid <laughs> And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. End video.